everybody, it's me again. Um, the owner of Red Rooster Antiques and Salvage asked if I would do another video show, showing some of the new things that she has gotten in. She's got this is the display in front of the store. She's got some really cool stuff, some uh, primitive outdoor decorations. You can put a plant in that and just use that in your garden. And nice mantle. And look here, this is something I really like right here. So if anybody's looking for a claw fit bathtub got one and got some various wood decorations in there okay and I'm gonna take you inside All right. now look here that's an old corn shucker and it works too and she told me that you can also uh, shuck walnuts in that and uh, huge collection of just various items here old tools buckets ringers for old ringer washers uh, a milk can over there old milk stool something how they used to um, let's see if I can uh, yeah, put the shoes on right there and metal trunks and old steamer like trunks sewing machine look at the sewing machine right there and there's another one right there in a case take you around there this was what fascinated me this is a photo album and it unlatches from the top and it drops down and it's a photo album and this is velvet very old. Anybody wants to know? That's sixty dollars, but it probably wouldn't ship for that. It'd have to be uh, extra shipping. Some silver, crystal. I love this old cabinet back here. I wanted to show you this over here first. Look at this. Uh, an old-fashioned curling. Uh, not a curling iron. Opposite a straightener. And that one is eight dollars. So the box. This was really cool. It's got collar stays in it. How about that? That's the mirror that somebody broke. She's going to chalk paint that. Old oil lamps, and I just love this dresser. Just love the dresser. And I'll come back. There's so much stuff that, you know, it it it's just amazing how much stuff she she has in here. Some stuff is still here from before, but she is selling and replenishing. This is like I don't know what that is. An old silk paint, Japanese silk paint. The chair's for sale, the pillow's for sale, everything's for sale. Uh, this, wait a minute, this cabinet, the cabinet's for sale. And then she, it, she displays all of the things in there. The bottles and oil lamps. There's still, she, some of these Edison rolls have actually sold since my last video, I can tell that. Light fixtures, uh, gumball canisters, crocs. Some uh, tea sets, old brown jugs. Hmm, wonder what used to come in those. And big roll of twine, a box, a wood box right there, some wood carvings, all of that in there. And let's go around here and see what she's got. This was really cool. This is cotton, I guess. Is that cotton? Mercerized, oh, mercerized crochet thread. Okay, wait a minute. But look. But the box is very old. This little box right here. Look, at, it's got some treasures tucked in there. I love this lace. That is really, really antique lace. Very, very antique. And just a few other little treasures in there. I like the little Heidi things. Okay, we all know that one. This box, um, I don't know if uh, my camera's doing the right thing or what. Okay, we still got the bowling ball still here. And all of this stuff back in here. Let's see, I can't win the these things right there. All these wood old wood boxes. Let's see. And oops. Got some weird light going on. Sorry about that. Okay. Alright. Burlap wreath. <laughs> Look at that. 
um, what do they call it? A wind thing. Look at the old telephone. Look at that. And lots of those uh, insulators. She's got a toolbox. This is really fascinating right here. Uh, it's like a little bowling set. I guess there's the bowling pins and there's the wood balls that go with it. All kinds of interesting stuff. These are really pretty wood inlaid boxes. A metal bucket. I can't find a metal bucket anywhere except here. <laughs> okay. That's an old calendar, 1931. Look at that. It looks original. Okay. There's still some stuff that's still here. There's some new stuff, you know, my stuff's still here. But these are some new things. This is really cool. Don't know what it is. What is that? That is an anti chlorine test kit. Cool stuff. Oh, look at a whole bottle opener. Look there. A whole Pepsi bottle opener. Okay. Cast iron kettle. These are cool. That's the, the cast iron. Um, make the cornbread. Okay. Got some little things back there now. This is like, it looks like the stuff to make gingerbread. You know, when the, the gingerbread houses, you know, have the little things in them. Okay, old croquet set. Yeah, these are like a thing of the past. Collector's item, because it's an ashtray. Nobody smokes anymore. Ah, uh, especially me. Okay, then we got these up here. And this thing right here, I'm got to see what, how much this one is. Let me see. That thing, see, it looks like a doll hutch or something. Child's play hutch, $10. That may have to go home with Pam. Okay, and uh, let's see, what do we got? Anything new up here? This is new. I know that's new. And this is new. I do know that. Let me see. And I remember these. A water, um, the water um, dipper used to be on, on the back porch of my grandmother's. Okay. Kind of dark back here. Can't get to the light switch because there's so much stuff. Got the end tables still down in there. Lamps, some quilts. You need to come out here and get some of these quilts. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot. See, there's stuff all over the place. Um, collector's tins. You need a chamber pot? She's got them. A wash, oh, tin wash, um, wash basins. Let's see. Look at all of these doilies, girls. Look at that. Look at that. This is, I still got that here. And look at this. This is precious. And it's, as far as I can tell, it's not chipped. Very, very pretty. And old books. Whoop! There I am! <laughs> all kinds of stuff in here. Old books. And look at the doilies and handkerchiefs. And there's a, I wonder if that's the guy that made the gun. Okay, we've got people. I hear the door open. And old bedstead. Got some more purses. Got these more some more of these purses, antique purses for collectors. And then we've got this. Got some more purses and hats over there. Let me see if I can get up on that. I love that mink one. It reminds me of old movies. And then the gloves. Got some old doors if anybody needs an old door. Either for a decoration, some of those would look really good as in a yard, like a uh, garden decoration, make like a, a Victorian garden. Okay, we've got, still have some of this. Look at these um, nice frames, really nice wooden frames here, nice large ones. There was some new stuff that came in here. Now, I really like this dresser. I can't get back far enough, I don't think, to see this dresser. See that dresser? What's fascinating about this dresser is it has these little drawers on the top, on each side. Well, actually, there's one in the middle, too. It's just so ornate. But it's got this thing fixed on the top. This box thing fixed on the top. Huh. I just think that is really neat. Got some crystal lamps. Got some brass lamps. These are onyx. These are onyx, and they're monks, because I had to look at the tag. Onyx monks. If you're interested in something like that. Okay. Pictures. Pictures. And more big, big, huge frames. Huge. There's a bunch of them. 
So it's got all kinds of frames. And I think this cabinet is for sale too. And she still has her paint, all of her paints, uh, Dixie Belle and Miss Lillian's paints. And now we're going to go on the other side and see this. This was really interesting because it's an old ice box. And I believe she said that what made it unusual was what? It has two spigots inside? Is that what makes it unusual? Yeah, it has a total of three. Yeah, there's the, um, the spigot here to drain. And then it's got two spigots on the inside. Let me see if I can get it open or not get it open. There we go. Let me see. It's got there and there. Okay. And of course, you know how this works. It raises up and they used to drop the big blocks of ice in there. And there I am again. Okay, let's see. I'm not supposed to get them in this <laughs> video. And it's kind of hard because they're just right over there. We'll say okay. hi. <laughs> you will say hey? Yeah. This time? Okay. Yeah. You're about to meet the owner of Red Rooster Antiques and Salvage. Hey, y'all. Y'all come see us. This is my husband, B.W. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Come on in. Have a cup of coffee with us. See? Right there's the coffee pot. She's not lying. And you get some chocolate, too, if you come in. <laughs> chocolate oh, kiss. Or maybe chocolate and then a kiss. It just depends on what you buy and how much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what some of this stuff is. But, well, the school desk, look at that. The uh, mm -hmm. divided thing is a mail sorter that came out of the mm -hmm. post office here in Western, from what I understand. There you go. Mail sorter. The thing on the top is a big funnel. And then mm -hmm. the thing right in front of you is a water cooler. A water cooler? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, it even has a little doodad. Yeah, because then the top gets hot in the back of the truck, but the plastic ones will melt. I know. There you go. Plastic ones melt in the back of a truck. Use the metal ones. Okay, got some, a new dresser set right here. This is brand new. And she still has her signature soaps, uh, scrubs, bath salts, oils, and she's just carrying a new line. And a Ginger Blue Naturals, and you can come in, I think you can even sample, have a little sample. And she's got um, lip balm, and I I have one. I have the Sweet Orange, and it's very good, very creamy, and lasts a long time. She's got body sprays, uh, sugar scrubs, and body butter. And, oh, look nice stack of old books for those collectors and that is a uh, I forget what you called this scale what was that scale called apothecary scale apothecary scale very they used it very sensitive and my husband told me it's in a glass case because you can't even let the wind blow when you're measuring that stuff oh look at that is this for sale or is uh, this yep. for the rooster the rooster theme look at that okay I think we're done Ah, up and over, and seeing all of the new items that she's gotten in. So you need to come in, take a look, come and just make sure you set aside some time because you got to go through everything because there's something in every little nook and cranny here. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Bye.